Some coffee. It's Miss America's birthday. I'm so excited to be celebrating my best friend's birthday. Today, on this amazing episode, I'm going to show how to make incredible peanut butter and banana cupcakes. And these delicious treats are good for me and you as well. Super wholesome, super everything, whatever you want to call it. Let's just jump right into the recipe. We're going to start off with the dry mix. First, mix all the dry ingredients together. The full recipe in the description, as usual. And then once you've done the dry mix, you do the wet mix separate. Now I'm not a baker, so I can't really speak to a lot of reasons why things happen in baking. I'm not a scientist, I'm too much of a freestyle chef. What I do know is these are delicious and the ingredients are great. I'm using all organic. Everything that I could find that was organic is going into this. It is for my sweetie, my baby. If you're a dog lover and a pet lover, an animal lover, you know, I think I love them more than people, <laughs> especially her. She pretty much saved my life, just being my companion, just being there for me. And I want to make sure she has the best because she is such a gift in my life. Once you get the batter all mixed up, where you mix the wet with the dry, mix it up well. I added that coconut oil last. I'm going to portion these up into cupcakes. Pupcakes. Once I had all the ingredients, it took me five minutes to put them together, another five minutes to make the batter, and then 30 minutes to bake. I already preheated the oven, 175 Celsius, that's 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll do a quick wipe around the edges, and then I'm just going to take a little trip down memory lane. For the frosting, three simple ingredients, yogurt, peanut butter, and maple syrup. And I'll just whip it up like my life depends on it and then pop it in the refrigerator to chill. Cleaning as I go the whole entire time. I even like doing dishes, believe it or not, because it's part of the whole process. And someday I plan to retire at my own restaurant as the dishwasher. I got Frankie a little bandana and a little hat and we played dress up for a little bit. She's <laughs> such so a cute. doll. Uh. <laughs> she also got another new football because that's her favorite game to play and she's getting really good at playing catch like this. I had to cut our game short because I got to pull them out of the oven. Quick skewer test to make sure they come out dry. Voila. Now I'm just going to let these cool down for another 30 minutes or so, play with Miss America, and wait for her guests to arrive. Once they're cooled, I'm going to take them out of the muffin tin, put them on a plate, and then frost them. 
Frosting's fun part. Although I didn't have any fancy piping bags, I just used a spoon. Now what I didn't get to show here because I got too busy and guests came over is I did put, I sliced a banana, chilled it in the freezer, and then put the pieces on top so they were nice and crisp. There you go. Look at you, beautiful. Oh, hi. Uh, is it, are we done work? Are we done work? Are work done? Take, oh, are we done? Oh, oh hi Frankie. Are you comfortable in your seat? Are you comfortable? Look at you. Come on. Frankie loved them, and so did I. So did all the guests. We all enjoyed these. We even enjoyed them. Uh, well, Frankie and I enjoyed them the next morning with our coffee. I love animals so much. It's why I don't eat them. Have a great rest of the week. We'll see you soon. I've been working on a few projects that will come to light soon. Have a great day. Happy birthday and long life wishes. Good girl.